Hello. This is day 23 of the Master Cleanse. Everything is going really good. I still have a lot of energy. I'm going to keep going. Um, I, I'm just going to take it day by day at this point. And, um, because once I decide that I'm ready to come off, I still have, it's going to be a while before, you know, I can just eat regular. Besides that, I would like to go into a juice fast. But day 23, still feeling energetic and, and clear-minded. No issues there. Um, I will talk about day 19 because the evening of day 19, I had a little episode. Um, I bent over to take off my sandals and when I got up, I was dizzy. But it wasn't the kind of dizzy that you normally get when you when your blood sugar is low. This was this was uh, like like a sinus dizzy, like a sinus headache. And I even had, it felt like a sinus headache. But the part that concerned me was I had like a little tingling feeling like come up the back of my head and, and it kind of like, my my whole scalp kind of felt tight for a little bit. And so I, I, I was a little nervous and I started to consider coming off the cleanse earlier than, than I had planned. But then in the morning, I spoke to my, my, my brother, Nelson, who knows a lot about nutrition, and he's done several fast and cleanses, and he felt very confident that this was another symptom of detox. And I thought about it, and I remembered reading about so much elimination comes through our lungs, you would never believe it. So it would be, I, would, I think it would be expected to have some some mucus and a stuffy nose and stuff like that. So I just, I just pushed forward and you know what, in the morning it was gone. I just went to bed early that night just to make sure. And in the morning it was gone and I felt fine and I've had energy ever since. No problem. The only other issue that I have had is, uh, my joints. I'm, I had one day, I think it was day 20, my left ankle started hurting. And then by that evening, my right ankle started hurting. And Again, this is detox. This is, um, maybe it's the acid. I don't know what it is, but it could be lactic acid. Whatever it is, it's trying to balance out because I don't just all of a sudden have joint pain that where I didn't have an injury and then to another joint. I mean, I do have, uh, there is a lot of arthritis in my family and I do already have some early symptoms of that, but this was just a different kind of a pain. I don't know how to explain it, but then, um, after reading and speaking to a few knowledgeable people, I realized that I'm no longer eating all of the anti-inflammatory beneficial foods that I was eating before in my, my salads and stuff. I mean, we, we typically every day and for breakfast every day, I eat a, like a loaded salad, like just packed with, with nutrients and packed with, um, antioxidants and, and things that are anti-inflammatory. So I don't have any of that in my system right now. And so between that and the detox, um, that explains a lot. So that was one thing. So I decided to tweak the cleanse a little bit and I added some fresh ginger juice, two tablespoons a day to one of my lemonades. Um, uh, the ginger also has a liver cleansing effect. It's anti-inflammatory and, and I've noticed a big difference. It also helps a little bit emotionally. I, I, I also add this. It's um, green vibrance. Why is it green vibrance? Um, because this is excellent for keeping probiotics in your system. When you're cleansing, your body's getting rid of all that bad stuff, but it also gets rid of the good intestinal flora. So um, Stanley Burroughs says to get on a, a probiotic soon after, after your cleanse is over, but I decided that was written in the seventies. We've learned a lot since then and probiotics are extremely important. So this way I'm getting the probiotics and I'm, and I'm also getting, um, the nutrients. So it's, it's helping. So I, <clears throat> I put this a scoop of this in one lemonade a day. And I choose to do that during the dinner lemonade while my family is eating the dinner that I just cooked for them. And it just helps with the emotional side of it. Then I had a great idea to put the ginger in it with it. So we've got the spirulina and the seaweed algae type flavor mixed with the ginger. And then I decided to help my joints along and help my heart and my brain, I would add some flax oil. So between the vibrance, the fresh ginger juice, 
and the flax oil. It tastes like sushi. No kidding. Maybe I'm just too hungry. I don't know. No, I don't feel hungry, but um, maybe I just have been so detached from food that maybe anything would taste good, but it did. It tastes like sushi. So every night we joke that I have my sushi while the family has their dinner. So, but the, you know, you have to do little things that help you get through the cleanse. And that's just one of the things that helps me. Um, the other thing I have done to tweak it, and the last thing I've done, is that I have chosen to once a day drink six to eight ounces of coconut water for the electrolytes to help protect my organs. You know, we, we really need to keep our minerals and our electrolytes up. So I don't think in any way this um, changes the cleanse. I don't think in any way that it will stop my body from detoxifying and, and cleansing out, you know, free radicals and stuff. I think it's just only going to enhance it. And I really think the ginger is going to enhance a lot, help the liver to, to cleanse. But I did find it very interesting that it was the first day I had the ginger that I had that dizzy feeling. Maybe, And I really do think now that something got dislodged, some toxin, and it was making its way out of my body. So I am definitely going to keep moving forward. I feel super. Please wish me the best. Pray for me if you can. And, it, and I will say, they say that Eventually, this will take you on a spiritual journey, and it has. It's bringing me to some um, to some places that I hadn't been in a while that I really needed to get to. It's hard to explain, but it's a wonderful experience, and I'm really enjoying a lot of the things about this cleanse. And I really hope that my videos will help encourage somebody to do it, because it, it truly is life-changing. And so let's hope that I can keep moving on until... I get the optimum health and um, encouraging others. And let's hope that I can maintain and eat a really primarily raw food diet. Over 50% of your diet should be raw food. And, um, and let's just hope that I can keep it up and stay away from a lot of meats and things that really tax our digestive system and tax our bodies. And, and of course, I want to stay organic. And a lot of people say, oh, it's so expensive to eat healthy. Listen, Mark and I have been changing over into a healthier nutritional lifestyle over the last like three years and I will tell you it is not more expensive because it's more expensive for the people who are still eating the other stuff and eating the good stuff, okay? If you really do switch over and get rid of all of the bad and all the little extra stops that we make for food and little extra things we pick up and the fast food or the takeout or the nights out at the dinner and it really is not very expensive and the more you learn the more you save. And even if it was more expensive, we used to have a philosophy before we realized it wasn't more expensive. Um, we always said it's pay now or pay later. And for a long time I've been in the pay later statistics. And I really want to get out of that. So I really want to be around for my little girl as long as possible. And um, of course I totally trust God for anything that happens in my life. However, I really feel like it's my responsibility to do my part and to encourage as many people as I can along the way. So I'm thankful to my husband. I'm thankful for the people in my life, my sister, Stacy, and my brother, Nelson, who have really um, encouraged me to, to learn about health and how food affects our bodies. But I really am also very thankful to all of the documentaries that are out that are educating us and of course, you're never going to see any of these documentaries on primetime TV and on regular news media. You will not because there's just there's um, too much loss of money involved for the big farm pharmaceutical companies, for the big farm agricultural companies. They're never going to allow, their lobbyists will make sure that the truth never gets out about what is happening in our, in our bodies with the food that the FDA has approved for us. So hopefully, um, a little disclaimer, these are all just my opinions, so nobody can come after me, but it's also what I've learned and, and being educated. So the best of luck to anyone who wants to ever try it. Day 23, the master cleanse, I'm going to go, I'm going to go day at a time, but I do have like a hope to make it to 25 and then another hope to make it to 30. So we'll see. Take care, everybody. Sorry for the long video.